What's happening, beautiful fellas? What are you two sexy studs up to? I feel like uh, Jared's probably doing something that involves patina. And Jason Brown is more than likely pop locking on a skateboard whilst listening to some thrash grass. How about that? I'm pretty accurate. What you're doing? Oh, speaking of which, they're not really thrash grass. They're just a cool band. Do you uh, have you listened to Devil Makes Three? Jason Brown. And I, I hope, I hope I solved a little bit of the log or lag issue because I, I moved the uh, moved the router and, and modem crap around and restarted everything. So hopefully we're good. If not, then we're not good. It's taking you guys a long time to answer me, so I'm getting nervous. That works. I think. Are you guys there? I'm going to start crying, fellas. Hey, there's Matt Pearson. Mr. Uh, Sam Squanch himself. There, dude, Jeremy Lawler. You, um, I saw your comment where you said you, you finally made one in time or whatever. And I, I get, we had literally just ended, dude. So, uh, What's up, David Iverson? So I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're catching the beginning of it, too. There, see, J dude, Jared, I, th I feel like you were doing that on purpose, man, just trying to make me nervous. You, you were not answering, and uh, I almost shed a tear of pure tea, terror, and sorrow. We definitely got some cool cats in the house, though. You guys, uh, I don't know. What's up, Todd Carr? Welcome, buddy. Brother Worm, welcome. Welcome to the, uh, the shit show, as they say. Or what? We're not supposed to cuss in the first however many minutes of the uh, live stream. Oh, no, we're two, we're almost three minutes in. We're good. What's happening there? Hey, now, Brother Bear. And I don't know, um, Oh, brother Sam Squanch, have you uh, have you caught a live stream before? I don't think you have, but uh, if you have, that's awesome. And if you haven't, it's even more awesome. I'm glad you're here, man. Dude, right, Todd? That I mean, that thing looks badass. <laughs> Joe did an awesome job on it. He uh, he did that against my will. I was kicking and screaming the whole way. And we're going to end up having to. Mrs. OCD. What? Hey, Beaches. <laughs> What's up, M M Mama Molly? How are you doing, ma'am? Ma'am of the, f the fancy fingernails. Oh, man, you, you got it going on, Matt. Just kicking it at break time at work, watching a live stream. Yeah, he killed it big time. Mama, did you see the mat? Look at this. Look what Joe did. Mr. Mr. Lancelot Leather himself did some did some shiz. Old dad, is old dad there? Can he hear me? Can you hear me, old dad? I miss you, old dad. But yeah, Joe, Joe knocked it out of the park. And I had no no clue he was doing that. Like it blew me away. But we're gonna have to cover it up here uh, directly because we're gonna open some some Chinese knives. We're gonna put Chinese knives on top of good uh, American craftsmanship. It's kind of wrong, if you ask me.
I know um oh monster's supposed to show up here eventually he has to go pick up his son um because he's you know mr mom and chauffeur and and all that jazz so i think uh austin was over kicking it at a friend's house or something he's got to go pick him up so i told him i would uh i'd stay on as long as i could but I, i mean i don't think he'll be that long he'll end up popping in before too long He'll be thinking, oh, dude, th- what better time to think of me than when you're in the shower? That is, that just warms my cockles a little bit. Goondocks. Hey, what's up, Goon? Good to see you, buddy. Stay away from albatross. I, those are some big-ass birds, dude. I don't think I would want to get around them voluntarily. Hey, Marcos, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. How was uh how was everybody's Tuesday? Was it as wonderful as mine was? Not that anything particularly spectacular happened. It was just a just a good day, I, I guess. Z man, what's happening, buddy? Got got the uh got the old sheepdog peanut butter whiskey and this funky cold medina here some sycamore fantasy land ipa oh no there's water on the mat there's edc items flying everywhere it was dumb just a work day yeah i mean mine was dumb too it was a work day but i mean it wasn't bad dumb it was just dumb dumb it was dumb dumb because i had to deal with my manager and she's dumb dumb <laughs> Yeah, peanut butter whiskey too, Jeremy. It's dude, this stuff is so good. And I swear, like I don't know, a lot of people prefer um, the screwball. And I mean, you can see I, I didn't hate it because it's gone, but it was not my favorite. The dang sheepdog is the best, man. Not bad, dumb, just dumb, dumb. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. It's like you'd rather the dumb, dumb stay in her office and leave you alone. Or in my case, I did anyway. Because she just ends up messing things up. Typical work day today for Jason, which means he carried probably 17 and a half pounds of EDC gear. And I don't, I can't say what he did because I have no clue what he does for a living. They've got a, um. They have that revel at our fancy liquor store, where which is the only one that has like the good um, whiskeys. But it's like peach or something. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to like scotch, Matt. Um, I don't know. I think in my old age, I've kind of moved away from the the liquor taste and liquors and started enjoying things that taste like candy and desserts and stuff that will get you jacked up. Praise Jeebus. Peach, dude, I like peach tea. Sonic has some kick-ass peach tea. Um I'll have to get them to I have to yeah, I'll have to pick up some of that revel. I'm kinda stuck on the more like um chocolatey, peanut buttery, caramelly flavored ones right now, but I I need to venture, especially with it getting hotter, I need to venture into some, some fruity flavored ones. Peach crown and iced tea is the cut. I, I don't know. I, crown is not good to me. It it uh takes me places I don't want to go. And uh, makes me, my multiple personalities come out, and they're not nice people sometimes. Like, a campfire in your mouth. That dude, that you like that, uh, that smoky, um, 
scotch then yeah i i don't know my cousin he's big on scotch he's part of some of his heritage is scottish so he's like really big on that crap and uh i mean not crap, it's not bad crap it's just figure of speech um but he he's into the like expensive scotches he gave me a bottle for uh, a wedding gift which i drank at the wedding and it was fun blaze what's happening my friend good to see you man captain morgan sliced apple rum dude that does sound good i like the uh the apples um like the crown apple's good uh the the i think what is it jim beam makes an apple and the honey the like the the jim beam honey good lord and that's cheap too so if you want want some good rock gut grab you a bottle of that and sail off to distant lands <laughs> goon you haven't met all my personalities dude <laughs> you've met the ones i've allowed you to meet the others i keep hidden locked away and apparently the key to their cell is uh certain types of liquor Hydraulic hoses, conveyor belts, silver solder buttons on flexible tubing with acetylene torch, and pretty much the general mechanic around the shop. I fix it. Well, see, that explains why you carry so much gear. Because, I mean, you need it. You have become accustomed to bourbon and sour mashes. Yeah, and that's what I've mostly, I personally have mostly drank is, I, st I stay away from vodka. I've never light vodka to, to me it tastes like lighter fluid and it tends to also bring out personalities that are not good so i look like my as a rule i stick to brown liquors and it's usually the uh, american whiskey bourbon type dealios well i mean uh I'm sorry you can't stay long, Blaze, but I'm glad that you could join us for as long as you're able to. And uh, you're more than welcome to hop on in anytime that we are live and anytime we're not live. There's videos up there that you can uh, kill time by watching. So, yeah, man, appreciate it, buddy. You are definitely more than welcome to kick it with us. We're just one big dysfunctional family here. Puppy potty time. That's Sounds like a little segment of a uh, like nursery aged kids show. It's puppy potty time. Yeah, okay. Vodka just on as a rule makes me hate people. Um, now, like the more I guess liqueur style bourbon whiskey type. Uh, liquors there. I mean, I'm cool with them. The the ones that get my goat going as far as the the brown liquors is like like the higher alcohol content, like Wild Turkey 101. That that's the devil. Um, Goondocks. How about go give me like fifty push-ups count them out please um i cannot believe you just said that dude and oh and on your way out the door turn in your man card to uh mama molly she'll take that from you and uh, she'll give it back when you have earned it and uh, speaking of man card there's mikey rask our, our our mikey shake the mr milkshake himself and um i I mean, I guess guilty pleasure. I do drink a, a an occasional seltzer, but it's it's uh, this is the only one that I dig. He is, and I'm thinking, you dude, you cannot get white girl wasted up in this live goon because I don't I don't have insurance yet. So you break it, you buy it. Oh, rumple mints, no. I've got bad Rumplemints memories. Well, the, 
lack of memories, but there was bad occurrences that happened with uh, Rumplemints. I know one of them. Um, I was dating this girl who ha- had a son. He was like two and a half, three years old. And I don't know what happened, how I got there, but I just remember I woke up um, on a Saturday morning, butt ass naked in the middle of the bathroom floor to her son yelling, Mama, why is Johnny naked in the bathroom? So that, I swore off Rumple Mints right then. Yeah, so I'm, I zero. That's like, I, I don't know what happened that night. I just know what happened the next morning. And judging from the fact that there was a three year old staring at me while I laid naked in the bathroom, it was bad stuff happened. So. But I mean, I, this wasn't like last year or anything, David. This was like I had just recently got out of the army. I was like maybe 22, 23, somewhere around in there. So, I mean, I was still in my wild and crazy party days. And, and matter of fact, there were some sheetrock holes that that did come from uh, Rumple Mints in that little two week period where. I decided it was fun to drink mouthwash. No, not body size. They were fist size. They, they, and strangely enough, they m- matched exactly with my fist. Even though there was other people in that apartment, they, uh, those holes matched me exactly. I don't, I don't know what it is or what it was, Matt. Like I it, see, I didn't drink and I, I wasn't a, a wild party kid in high school. I didn't start drinking until after high school, I moved out of my parents' house and uh, in with a buddy of mine and this other guy that I became friends with that I worked with at the grocery store, his, because we were all like, I think the oldest one was me and I was 19. Um, but uh, my buddy, Paul, his, he got his sister to buy us some vodka of all things. And, uh, so I was drinking screwdrivers and I was, <laughs> I got a really good buzz and I was like, Ooh, dude, I like this. And it was on from then. Great memory, great fuzzy memories. Um, and, and goondocks, it's funny that you bring that up. That good old boys drinking white claw because, uh, not this past summer, but the summer before, yeah, I ended up at, um, stupid Florida Georgia line concert in Charlotte. And I went to like, during one of the breaks, I went to one of the beer booths to get beer. And I heard this guy behind me and like total, like just straight up from the dirt redneck. And he's being dead serious. Now this is honest to God. He was, he thought he was, he had discovered something. He said, baby, I'm a damn genius. She said, what's happening? He said, well, I figured out I can drink some White Claws in between my beers, and that keeps me hydrated. He had figured out the secret of drinking and staying hydrated. What's up, Mark Herrera? Good to see you, man. Yeah, that's that's when the heavy drink, the everyday drinking started was once I got to the Army. But in my defense, we were in the middle of nowhere. Like the closest fast food restaurant was 45 minutes away. Other than that, like we were just isolated. So, um the cheapest entertainment there was there was to go grab a bottle of something from the PX or the commissary and walk around the barracks and make your own fun. But yeah, that's why, and that's why I get that scoff law seltzer. If I feel a little dehydrated, I'll grab one of them and drink it. It's like, uh, basically like a, Hanging a bag of lactated ringers hydrates you right up. Well, we are 20 minutes in and I have babbled incessantly about stupid shit. So what are you guys carrying? Or were carrying? I don't I mean, you may be um, sitting around in the buff and you're not carrying nothing. But what did you carry today? And like plain water. No, Mikey, have you not been paying attention, dude? No, plain water does not work. 
that Molly, no, see, you're, you're, you're playing into Mikey's hands, right? His little freckled hands. Like that's bull crap. And water is not for hydration. It's for taking a shower in or washing your car or washing dishes. It's not for drinking. Just showed up two minutes a hoe. Who are you calling a hoe? So VV Keen Natter, that's a good knife there. David and Case Toothpick, which to both of them are for uh, Tuesday. Z Man had the penguin with the denim micarta, and that's definitely an excellent choice. Drop Brad Zinker Dog Tooth, that's a cool little pokey stabby knife. Brother Bear. And like super pokey stabby too. Savivi Riffle, Sea Snake, Stroke of Luck Canoe for Jared. AD 20.5 and Leatherman KBX for Brother Worm. Um, apparently Mama Molly ADC'd some water today. Because she has to stay hydrated since her surgery. And you do need to take care of yourself. Your recovery is important. Uh, great minds think alike. Uh, Mikey, you have to have a great mind to say that, dude. They, they, you can't say that. It's like, be like a dude talking about feminine hygiene products. Todd Carr had the Gerber multi-tool, old one. Oh, the, the original, the one that pinched the crap out of your fingers and the one you could sling out. And that, that made it better than the Leatherman because I had that and I thought it was the bee's knees just because you could sling that bad boy out one-handed and he also had the benchmade mini freak and the cjrb feldspar jason brown had the qsp gannet dude i love that that gannet i had one for a little bit oh light warrior mini mini and leatherman squirt ps where's the rest of your gear jason what the heck and mama carried her oh she was packing heat. She said, screw a knife. I ain't going to cut a mofo. I'm going to blow his brains out. Copper, blackwash, Damascus, CV, McKenna for Mikey and the knives as an acronym, Swiss Army Knife. Z-Man is home in basketball shorts, no pockets because it's too damn hot for... Dude, I ain't lying, man. What's going on with y'all? That That's insanity up there, dude. Mikey, where the hell have you been, dude? What? You had surgery, Mike. What? Oh. My man with his Sabenza 21 and a Blunt Force Blade CK4. What, um, what's the, the CK4? I've had, the only one I've had is it was a, uh, it really it didn't have like a model name. It was just a Warncliffe with like a, um, blue resin and Amboina Burl handle. Oh, and then I did have the, like, it was like a drop point hunter type deal. What's up, Joe? We're uh, taking a little gander at your handiwork, buddy. Uh, Mark Carrera had a Tucson TS-228 from Justin and Molly. Speaking of Molly. And uh, apparently Justin Bronze anode it, and it is badass. Ju Justin does do some badass anode work. All right, Matt, you have a good rest of your night at work, man. Um, be be safe. Don't get hurt, and uh, don't work too hard either. And take plenty of breaks and drink plenty of this strange water stuff that they be talking about. Dark Blue Manix 2 and Swag Swayback, Tucson Pry Bar, and I5T. Uh, Marcos, we'll discuss the uh, Swag's knives here directly. Uh-oh, Z-Man's four-year-old is having a meltdown. Everybody wish him luck and keep him in your thoughts and prayers because he's going into a combat zone right now. Oh, you, yeah, you posted the uh, that sabenza on instagram dude i uh i don't know why i got rid of mine i was being a little butt hurt baby i think what 
Well, I mean, because she said she's had to stay hydrated ever since her surgery, Mikey. Pay attention. Or go to the back of the classroom. One of the two. CJRB, Tig Tiger, like the rapper, and Baranka for Goondocks. Rat one in your pocket for Mikey. What uh what configuration are we talking about? Are we talking about OS A, talking about D two, uh we got the FRN, we got the fake carbon fiber. What are we looking at, Mikey? Yes, he's grounded. You daggum right. For life. That son of a gun. I mean, you can't do anything with him. You can't take him anywhere. You're ridiculous, dude. And he thinks it's funny. He's just all, ah, it's funny to be like this. Mama says I'm special. FCF is that new. I <laughs> Oh, Mark Herrera had the uh, the 228 and a 221 slip joint. Nice, I dude, I've got a two. No, I don't have it. It's it's out on loan. I I do have one remaining um, slip joint. It's like the 123 or so, I can't remember the number. 223. I it's got um it's got white bone handles like covers, and then it's titanium liners and uh, all that jazz, and then it's got a little. Uh, the mask is kind of like sheep's foot blade. But M Mikey, we're done. That conversation's over, son. So, uh, all right, put it in your back pocket and save it for later. All right. But you can tell me that you do have the basic bitch. I'll say the FRN rat. What, what, what color FRN? We want specifics. <laughs> Get with the program, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, Mikey, you catch so much hell. He is our favorite little redheaded stepbrother. Which, speaking of, Mama, he he does need a beating later. So, um, if you could handle that for us, Whale, thirty minutes in. I read these came in today, and the uh, these are from what's the name of that weird. Kaiser was like Mojave Outdoors or something. They send their stuff in bags in another bag. So I took the uh, separate bags out of the big bag with the the doxing information on it. So as um, you do need beatings because you're a redheaded stepchild. You need a beating every day just for general purposes. Um, but I took those out to make it a little bit easier, less bulky. And so you guys wouldn't send me dead, dead animals in the mail. Jason, dude, are there no secrets between us? You just just let my business out there to everybody. Well, okay. So the cat's out of the bag, guys. I'm gonna be um, opening porn on this live stream. So, uh, and it's the one with the naughty pictures on the cover. Like they're not. There's no black bars or nothing. So, uh, Mikey, you might want to close your eyes. Or if you got a blindfold, go ahead and put that on. <laughs> Joe actually did send me dead animals. I'll take those kind of dead animals any day of the week. Um, because they don't smell dead. And they don't look dead. And wait, I, I am, but um, I think I think Mikey is is whining over there. So I just need to see what he's saying. I get bullied around. You get get bullied around here. My ass, dude. You uh, you bully yourself. You put yourself in the situation. All right. So let's open these jobbies up. I don't have a knife, guys. Can I um, I borrow a knife from somebody? There we go. And telling me to put a blindfold on and way out of context. I mean, yeah, it would, would for you as you would take it that way. But what I'm saying is, I'm trying to protect your little virgin eyes, Mikey. I don't know which is which. I'm assuming this is the one I'm assuming it is, but I don't know for sure. So we're going to find out. And it is a, a Black Kaiser box. 
Yeah, this is the, uh, it's like a, it's a little um, pry bar, multi-tool type, blurry type. There we go. Doesn't really tell you much, but. So this little guy right here. It's not too bad, dude. This thing's light, too, man. It weighs like nothing. Got a little bottle opener here. A little pry tip there. A little slot to hang it on something. Sean T, what's up, brother? There were three knives on the table. Where, well, they disappeared. No, they're, they're right there. I was just messing with you. I have knives. I was just... Just, uh... Just joshing. So there's that. I think I don't even know why. I, I think it was just kind of like an add-on type thing. So I said, "What the hay?" and and threw it on there. Um, and oh, crap, we'll mess with that later. But you guys are. Oh no, it's right here. You guys already saw the. Uh, well, maybe you didn't, but the Firebird or Ganzo or whatever it is that um John Scarborough sent in with the um the BJ Hill job to it so that's going to be one knife then the little pry bar dealing with what's it's and then this guy right here i'm glad they got away from that weird plastic uh all right i need another kind of instrument here that weird plasticky junk that they used to have the vanguard knives in this is the big lighter 2 it's the the full size not the mini and it is um micarta and black blade yeah that ganzo is it's nice dude like bj did a kick ass job on it and the action is stupid Good lord, y'all had that thing in there. Good, Kaiser. Ooh, that does look pretty, pretty, pretty pimp. Like it. Man, that my car looks really cool. Like it looks like it kind of worn in and weathered already. And it is like it. This is not a black wash blade. This is like it will become black wash, but right now it is kind of coated. Ooh. See, I had the original big lighter, and it, it did not close like that because it didn't have bearings. But this son of a gun right there is slick. I might be keeping that. You might, you guys might not be seeing this. Rumple and Razor Jaeger. No, Jaeger, no, no. We ain't drinking Jaeger or Rumple, John Boy. We were uh, we were just talking about you, as a matter of fact, and your um, very generous, generous donation to the giveaway. And the other such stuff, which there's going to be stickers involved. I'm going to, um, I'm off tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and post the giveaway video up tomorrow. Uh, so everybody can go ahead and enter to win. But, uh, there's going to be two knives, the little, uh, pry tool, and then stickers and other things that I haven't decided on yet that I'll find laying around the house. Maybe, uh, one of the, I don't know if it's quite petrified, but you know the white dog turds that you find in the yard? I think I'm going to include one of those because those are good for everything. I don't know. That's a good question. Let's see if it is sharp. No, yeah, it's sharp. Let's see, we got some paper. Let's cut my. Uh, my light bill. You guys can guess my light bill for stickers if you want to later. Oh, yeah. He's good and sharp. Let's 
see. Now you made me dirty up my space here, Jason. I'm going to sweep up real quick. Zach, I, I see a Zach. What's happening, Zach, man? Let's see if they're glitter. Yeah, see? It's like a ticker tape parade up in y'all. Oh, and this came as like with the same jazz as the. Uh, I, I dig their little, their new little setup for the, the Vanguard and I. It's got a little, your, uh, learn a different language book. With pictures, you can't beat that. You get the little cleaning cloth, and its own little generic kind of thick paper stock folder in a plasticky little envelope pouch type deal. But I mean, they yeah, they stepped up their, up their game for real though from the old Vanguard junk. Oh, and I'll have you know, guys, um, oh, I, I'm not going to do a, a sticker giveaway tonight i don't think well i might actually because i found uh, a handful of stickers and i ordered some new stickers because sticker mule has a special going on now for 50 uh, holographic stickers so anybody that needs stickers jump on that because that's, that's a pretty good deal i think it's 29 bucks for 50 stickers and it's normally like 81 or 80 no yeah 80 and howdy, Zach, man. It's good to see you, man. Appreciate you joining us. We're looking at some free stuff that we're going to give away here in the next week. I was telling them I'm going to post the video tomorrow uh, where they can enter. And then that's Wednesday. I will let it run for, shoot, at least next Wednesday. Let it run at least a week, maybe next Friday. Just depends on how froggy I'm feeling. Well, there is Christopher's Tanks. What's up, buddy? It's your reading time. What are you? Who are you reading to? Oh, are you reading like reading to yourself, like reading your um those uh, paperback porn novels with with uh, Fabio on the front and his hair blowing in the breeze and his his slab like pecs like throbbing. But have a good night, Mama. <laughs> yes, yes, there is going to be a holographic uh, sticker here within the next week. I think it takes about a week for once you order them for them to uh, get you there, which that's another great thing about Sticker Mule. They're pretty much, I think they're the only sticker company I've ordered from. And they're, I mean, they're quick, dude. Like you order it um, within a couple hours, they send you. Uh, your proofs for you to approve them and then like within a week you've got them in your mailbox murder books okay all right cool i have not lost any respect for you then but do they have uh did the murder books have fabio on the front with his hair blowing in the breeze and his throbbing slab pecs and stuff because that'd be weird holographic dude no no we don't need a holographic uh hula skirt jb we need an actual you know like the hula dolls that you stick on your dashboard we need a jb hula doll that we can i, I dude i would rock that every vehicle for the rest of my life would have that sitting on the dashboard and i swear there's a way we can make it happen and i've just got to figure it out i mean they could murder fabio but what? Mikey. He's on the cover of every book. Why? I mean, if they murdered him, he couldn't be on the cover of the book anymore. They just lost their cover model. Timbo, what's up, man? I'm glad you're here because, uh, dude, this live stream is getting out of control fast, man. The inmates have taken over the asylum, and I have pretty much lost control. So I'm going to need backup. Like on a date, Jason Brown, like um, dinner in a movie or walk in the park on the beach. 
I don't mean I don't know really what Fabio's into. We go shopping for hair care products. But um other than that, how to take black wash DLC off of a blade. Um short of where no I don't, I don't know that anything that like chemical that would take it off I, somebody may know something um but the only th like and it never really removed it completely but the only thing i've ever used is either i've uh taken it to the blast cabinet or tumbled the crap out of it to try and get as much of the coating as i could off of it but i don't know anything chemical that'll take it off stay yeah definitely dude just skip the dinner go to the pecs use a laser to remove the coating laser like la laser do you have access to uh something like that zach i mean or like i honestly i don't know like i've never messed with anything like that is that something we somebody could easily get their hands on met him in a previous you met fabio in a previous life Yeah, you 10 slackers, hit the thumbs up. What's wrong with you? And I don't know. I, like, I I seriously don't know anything about that, so I, I don't know if, if he was just pulling our leg or, like, he was being legit. So, yeah, so that's what I have done in the past. And even, like, blasting it didn't take it all off. See, man, like, it kind of turned into a really faint, almost gray wash. Um So, okay, so what you're saying, you could send it, like, say, somebody that does laser engraving, you could send it in, into them, and maybe they could just remove the, the coating off if they, but it would be, like, up to their discretion. There's nobody officially that you could send it in to do it. You could just ask around is what you're saying, I believe. Big Papa, sorry, why are you sorry, Big Papa? Welcome. Uh, we're happy to have you. I don't. No, no, no reason to be sorry. Zach makes every bench made knife in his basement. Dude, he does. He, he, uh, he's got it like it's one of those hidden cabinet or uh, like a bookshelf type thing where you pull a certain book and it slides open and then he goes down a spiral staircase into his basement. And like once you go down in there, that it looks like a, a air traffic control tower. There's just radar and everything, ping ping. Like he's got his, his eyes in the sky, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> go ahead and uh, get comfortable, guys. Mikey's about to start talking about his foot. Oh, my poor foot. I had to have surgery on my corn toe and my bunions. <laughs> Dude, you've made like hidden hidden uh, passageway bookshelves at work. Worm, because that is killer. And if you have... um. I believe I'm going to con contract you out my for my next house because I want one of those daggum hidden passageway bookshelf thingies. And I want it to be like um, if you, you the book that you pull is going to be like a Dr. Seuss book, like Fox and Socks or something like that. Zach's in an elf costume with an embroidered buttery cranking out knives drinking Dutch bros. I don't know. He's, he's got, he's got something going on. He's just dude, pumping them out. Like making paper airplanes or something. Zach's the man and, and nobody knows it. That's, that's the funny thing is like, if you, if you know, you know, but not a lot of people know Zach is actually the man. one of the slackers oh <laughs> i got you man hey dude no worries 
because I'll be in other people's live streams and, uh, you know, somebody will post like smash that like button, show, show your appreciation. I'm like, yeah, mofo, show your appreciation. Like hit that like button. Like, what are you waiting on? And then 10 minutes before it ends, I realize, Oh, dumbass, you haven't hit it. What are you talking about? So no worries. Shoe monster, shoe monster. What is up, Slicky Ricky? Did uh, hey shoe, did you get my message about that uh, coin drop on Friday? Cause it's it's the it's uh, it's the one I've been wanting. It's it's been difficult for me to uh, get a hold of, and it's dropping Friday at two. Wait, what are we sticking in people? What in the world? I may have seen an uncoded M4 super. Oh, dude, that would be killer. It's <laughs> he does that. So he's got his own little, you know, how um, TPK has her little certificate and with her process of. Uh, oxidizing knives. Oh, right on shoe. Um, well, hopefully we'll, we'll get in on it and be able to get one. Uh, Zach, if you'll look, if you, any bench made that you own, if you look, there'll be, if you got to hold it kind of like, like say it's a coated blade and you just kind of hold it kind of at an angle to the light, you'll see, uh, lip marks where he kissed it. And that's his, his signature patina. And I think, matter of fact, it'll have a Z in there. And also, if you're in trouble, you can hold it. Uh, no matter the time of day, you can hold it at the right angle, and it will reflect a Z up into the sky, and Zach will respond. The secret Z kiss. It's like, dude, he's like he's like Zoro, but cool. Like, you know, Zoro is kind of lame with his little flimsy sword like what was that little bendy sword gonna do like it's like your grandma's switch like tan your hide with it and make you see the error of your ways and but zach's like dumb man he don't use carry around no flimsy sword he carries around a bench mate of course and he will whip the ass of evil with it And Dutch Bros and Voodoo Donuts. Dude, I'm tired of hearing about Voodoo Donuts because I want to try some Voodoo Donuts and I don't think they uh, deliver by mail. So I'm kind of butthurt about that. So I'm to, almost to the point of like sour grapes where like, you know, screw their donuts. I didn't want them anyway. But I do. I really want to try them. Yeah, great. Dude, grandma switch is brutal because you get you have to pick your own, and if you don't pick one that's good enough, woo, yeah, you're gonna know it, and you're good, you'll end up. Not only will you get punished like double, but then you'll also have to pick one that's good enough, and it's normally bigger than what you would have picked to begin with if you had picked one that's big, like good enough, and you're screwed. We do t need to take a road trip and get some of them voodoo donuts and blade show next year. And dang, Z man, I hate that for you, man. Like you're not going to be able to go to blade show West and I can totally empathize because I am very blade showless myself this year, but next year that is going to change. I'm going to start, dude, I'm going to start a foundation. I'm going to start a uh, EDC community blade show foundation and just take like, random donations all year long and put them in this fund and just buy uh blade show like tickets to blade show for everybody that can't get them yeah we know mikey because uh you live on the east coast with me why would you go to blade show west ah uh. 
hey, you know what? I mean, what better time than now if you guys are feeling froggy? Um, Chris would like to be reminded, or what? not reminded because he was not here, but he would like to know what you guys carried today if you feel like uh, letting him know. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> shoot, Mendoza just messaged me. He's like, hey, the drop's happening at 2 o'clock because, all right, in his story, he was like, do you guys like patina? Well, if you like patina, here's a brand new Admiral coin. I'm like, oh, crap, he's dropping an Admiral coin. It's going down. It's going down. And he's like, here's my Admiral coin from six months ago. So I, then I was like, oh, he's just freaking <laughs> comparing a six-month-old coin to the new coin. And I had like already sent the little fire emoji. So I was like, well, I feel dumb now. So I'm like, oh, crap, dang, I, saw, I thought you were dropping a coin. So then I go to <laughs> – to his account and to his most recent post and he is dropping one. I was like, Oh crap. Now I'm a dumbass for saying what I said that then. So I go back and I was like, dude, the roller coaster of emotions, man. Uh, so I'm glad you're dropping a coin. Uh, I'm stoked about it or whatever. And he just sent me a message and tell me they were dropping at two o'clock. So coins are coins for everybody. Pledge. Oh, that doesn't help us any, Marcos, because we're still not going to get no voodoo donuts. Kiefer, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Do you, uh, do you have the Dalika on you, sir? The Dalika? I don't, I don't think these guys realize that there is only one Dalika. Uh, the rest are just merely imitations. And uh, Kiefer is, in fact... In possession of said Dalika. Sorry to burst y'all's bubble, but worm, you don't have any coins, none, none. We need to remedy that. One Dalika to rule them all. Yes, and you got to keep it out of that daggum, smeagly golem dude's hands, because he'll he will uh, defile it. The Dalika, yes. The Dalika. You know what's funny about that? Uh, and I don't know the, the... I guess it's more official, but like the strip clubs around here be like The Dollhouse. T-H-E-E -E, Dollhouse. The B VIP Club. It's always kind of blown my mind what they're trying to get across. Dude, that's why he's so elusive, man. Because when he's holding that Dalika, he he's he's rendered invisible, and you, you like you'll just hear his voice like kind of bouncing around all around you, and then boom, he'll pop up on a YouTube video like chopping ginormous cardboard tubes in half. Need a vampire skull coin. Dude, they've got to have one. They, they, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that, Jeremy, and let you know if I find one. And Mikey, what's that supposed to mean? Of course, you would know what the strip clubs are titled. They're on the freaking sign, dude. Like, I can read. Yes, of course, I would know. Because I am educated to the point where I can read simple sentences and words and stuff. A brotherhood. Dude, I'll tell you what. Um. I think the, the coolest coin right now is, and you can't like buy it. You, somebody I think pretty much has to give it to you, but that, uh, the actual like coin coin, carry the skull coin with the, like the cutout heart or whatever in it with the braised dude, that's a badass coin. And I guess it would be called a, uh, the blowed out camel toe it would be it would be uh i don't know what it would be called but it's it's i guess it would be like considered a brotherhood coin but it's killer i know she's seen it you got them names committed to me dude i literally said the dollhouse that's a strip club and the v vip club that dude there's a dollhouse and vip club in every town in every state it's pretty generic no, I mean when you when you start rattling off names like the moldy brown eye and and stuff like that. Now you're getting specific to uh, locales, and you've more than likely 
frequent in said establishment. Pink Pooty. The pink oh the pink poodle. The pink poodle. The um the, the there was a pink pony in Atlanta. And there was a pink pony and a ponytail club. Yes, meet the minimums at the rack. At the like at, at with their racks, we all have almost as many clubs as food carts here in Port. Like like y'all are drowning in in strip clubs, Zach. The moldy brownie, yes. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> what's up, Golik? <laughs> it's nice of you to join us. We're talking about different. Um, well, we've moved on from blown out camel toes to strip clubs now, and. I, Mikey said that I am obsessed with strip clubs because I know the name of the, and they're very generic, like the dollhouse and the VIP club. Like those are strip clubs everywhere. And I said, if you, if I was getting more specific and naming off clubs like the moldy brown eye or uh, the saggy labia or something like that, or the toothless wonder, like that would indicate that I had probably been to these clubs frequently. And, might have a problem, but Richard Petty on one side and a big block of cheese on the other. And dude, and it'll be one of those like the um temperature sensitive things. So like if you like a mood ring, it when you hold it in your hand, like the cheese disappears. Brass stables. That sounds like my kind of joint, man. Like do they do they uh they do pony play? Is that what we're talking about here, Jason? Oh, take it easy, shoe man. It's good to see you, buddy. Um, have a good night. And hey, don't let them uh don't let all them kids take advantage of you, buddy. Because I know you're you're a hell of a dad, and you got a hell of a crew, man. Patina in a rainbow cast. Who's in a rainbow cast? There, dude, there's a kid at school in a rainbow cast because he was playing basketball and fell down and, and uh, broke his arm. Family restaurant by day. See, that was kind of like the bar I went to in California. It was called The Graduate. Don't know why, but it was a, a re like a restaurant by day and a and, uh, Tawdry bar by night where very dark things happened. It was just, it was a sad day when they tore down the Beavers and I, I, dude, I don't even live there and I shed a tear, Zach. That, that that was an institution, the Beavers Inn. Yes, sir. And they. The way you could tell if they were open or closed is they literally had a sign on the door that either said the beavers in or the beavers out. So what's up, top dog? I appreciate you joining us, man. And you're more than welcome, Shu. Have a good night, man. Um No, see what you're doing, Jared, is you're you're mixing uh the King Richard Petty up with the rainbow warrior, Jeff Gordon. And that pretty much gets your NASCAR card stripped from you. So, or at least it does in, in these parts. So you might want to <laughs> one arm dancer. Uh, you know, um, I don't know, dude, we're liable to be on here for the next six hours. Top dog. You, I have no clue if it's almost over or not. We did open some giveaway stuffs, uh, which one we which we'd already opened the um, the BJ Hill modified Ganzo from uh, John Scarborough, and that thing is pimpalicious, and the action is silly. And then today the the Beg Lighter Two, which I think it's pretty much just uh, I don't see much difference 
between this and the original bag lighter, other than the fact that it's on bearings, there might be some some subtle differences, but I haven't had one in quite a while. So, but it is it's a it's a really good uh, just useful EDC knife in my opinion. So I figured I'd snag one to give away, and then this little add-on that when I bought the bag lighter, a little uh, little titanium pry bar, pocket tool, what have you, pocket jewelry from Kaiser with some weird. Oh, that's actually like engraved into like it feels like it's laser etched, the little stripes or whatever. But yeah, so and then there's going to be some stickers, which the, the video will be tomorrow, so I won't spoil the, the surprise. It were closed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, I believe that. I'm pretty sure that's their, uh, like their standard operating procedures. Hang it, they. There's a company out there somewhere that that's all they do is make signs that say "Beat it, we're closed," and they supply every strip club in the nation, well, worldwide actually. Top dog, you're saying you had both like the uh, both bag lighters and they're they're roughly the same size. So but is so I'm guessing there is like a tiny bit of difference. I feel like this is I don't know. I think it feels different, but it, like I said, it's been it's been years. It was one of the literally the first knives I bought. I got a bag lighter and a, a Gemini and uh dude, what was the other the weird well, it wasn't super weird, but the harpoon blade, uh, Laconico, um, it'll come to me. Dude, all right, so, I and I don't know if this was an urban legend or not, because I never saw it with my own eyes, Christopher, but they said back in the day, like, I don't know if you, you guys have Winn-Dixie, but around here, like, and it's not really big anymore. It used to be when Dixie was, they were the beef, pe the, the meat people. And supposedly at some point during their existence, their slogan was, you can beat our prices, but you can't beat our meat. But I, I don't know. I, I feel like it was an urban legend because I've never seen any kind of like ad, like magazine ads or anything that say that. Yeah, the original was on washers. I do remember that. The action was way... I mean, it wasn't like bad action, but it wasn't drop drop shutty like crazy like this one is. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the my last fond memory of Winn-Dixie was trying to uh, make it across the four-lane highway to Winn-Dixie for some odd reason after drinking a, a fifth of tequila in about 35 minutes which is before I puked in the neighbor's mailbox and ended up passed out in my own bathtub. <clears throat> and which needless to say, I never made it to Winn Dixie. New safety design and weight reduced. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely right about the weight. Oh, yeah, they're dude. I don't know if, let's see if I can get, uh, come on, come on, there we go, yeah, there's all kinds of holes milled out for weight reduction to our big old jobbies there, heck yeah, um, Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't. I'm not sure the new safety design. You might have to hold my hand and lead me there on that one, because I'm definitely not seeing it. They they do have a different, some different font on the blade. Looks like a spy like spy movie font, and then the little Azo dudes. Little signature joint. 
What is my favorite knife? Um, you know, honestly, and I'm, I know people are tired of hearing about it, but it's like overall knife period. I, my favorite knife has to be, and just, and just strictly from a, uh, a functional standpoint. I mean, and it looks good to me, but the, the, that month, the field trekker is probably like my favorite knife, like of any knife. And then not to sound like a fanboy, but I think my favorite folding knife is probably the, the mini old guard, the Monterey Bay knives, mini old guard. <clears throat> Cause, and Peter has that and I'm been having withdrawals, man. My special little boy is not at home. Oh, it, well, and then want, okay. So again, Monterey Bay knives is coming out with a, um, an American manufactured knife. And I feel like it's going to be pretty hard to get your hands on. Cause they're, I doubt they're going to make very many. Um, and I don't know if they're doing like multiple runs or if it's going to be like a permanent thing, or they're just doing like a, just one run of, of this knife. Maybe Zach knows. Um, but yeah. Um, that that looks pretty good, which he's got several that I would like to get, but I don't know that they're favorites. But I think right now my favorite want to get is that. Uh, and he said, he, I don't know the name. He said he had a name for it, but I'm not sure if I caught it or not. But they just keep calling it the MBK American. Um, and it looks a lot like the old guard, but different, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the... Uh, what this safety is top dog there uh, is it just looks like a regular old liner lock to me um i mean i may be wrong and there's no like added safety features that i could see i mean that i will say this is some some superb feeling my car to like this is the dude it feels nice but um as far as I can't vouch for the strength of the liners because I mean, I don't have that kind of calibration, but it definitely is lighter and it, the, the action definitely is a heat better, but as far as the safety and uh, strength of the liners and stuff, I can't vouch for that way. I just saw something, I think. Oh no, I didn't. The shadow. So I don't know. I mean, regardless, it's, it's cool. I think, uh, N6, this one is, yeah, N690. Safety enhanced design prevents you getting cut by this crazy drop shut blade after adding these new bearings. Azo made the safety protruding between the in okay. All right, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's this I'm guessing it's this little little nubbins right there. I guess that's what they're talking about. It acts kind of like a uh, like a flipper tab. When you uh, oh yeah, see it it hits your thumb before the the cutting edge does. So you, you definitely cleared that up for us, man, because I was confused as crap and I didn't see anything. But yeah, that's it right there. So thank you for clearing that up, man. Malice and the Best Tech Exploit. I haven't seen either one of those, but that... uh. Oh, it is crazy good. That um, I I do dig the the look of that thug. I don't know if it would be, which I know you know it's a little bit beefier, so it might fill out the hand more. Um, but lengthwise, I just I'm afraid it would be a little bit too small, and I'm not willing to pay that kind of price on a knife, not knowing it's perfect. And actually, I wouldn't want to pay that kind of price on a knife if it is perfect, because that's that's a little steep at this this present moment. No, did Mikey have a good one? It's so safe you can't tell it's unsafe. Dude, I, I got excited for you, Mikey. Like I thought this was gonna be your your time to shine, and really, that that's what you came up with. I think Monster was just being nice to you. I didn't want you to feel bad. I think they're pretty much done i don't i don't know i don't think they uh all right marcos um 
enjoy your dinner and, and have fun making dinner. And uh, still uh, waiting on that, that porterhouse in the mail. Mikey always says Mikey. Mikey says Mikey always has good ones. All right. I about got political there, Mikey, but I'm not going to go there. Um, but yeah, okay. You just keep thinking that, buddy, and I'll support you any way I can. Uh, short of lying, I refuse to lie, but I will stretch the truth as far as I, as possible without it breaking. Well, I got I got to give him crap, Tim. So I'm I'm just gonna say that it was um it was Streamyard's timing, and between them and YouTube, they just it popped in at the perfect time. He probably actually typed it and and hit send like five minutes too soon for it to be funny, but Streamyard and YouTube hooked him up. Yeah, that Snex is a killer knife, man. That that uh that mini buster, and the funny thing is when it, when it first came out and I'm mini buster mini, I'm thinking it's going to be this tiny little knife. It ain't tiny. It's a, it's a good size knife and it's, it's badass. And really, I don't think it's like a crazy extravagant price. I want to say like it was around like 200, right? Oh dude, Marcos. Okay. Well just hold on to the porterhouse you were going to send me and make um an extra helping of fried rice because yeah, that's uh that sounds heavenly. Oh, is Dennis in the house? Is there Dennis Watson? Yes, sir. What's up, Dennis? How you how you doing, man? It's good to see you. We already opened up the knives, but um the that's what was opened, of course you already saw that, so you can gaze in wide wonder and also, you know, Joe's handiwork here. Because it's Freaking amazing. So something for you to kind of get lost in. Two hundred to two fifty. Yeah, that's um it's uh okay, yeah. Yeah, two yeah, that's what I thought. It was like I think I saw him like maybe like in the two twenties too, but it it wasn't outrageous. Like in my opinion, Judging from the looks of the knife and what people were saying about it, I didn't think the price was was outrageous. Now these, like that daggum, what was it? Uh, that weird Tanto Jobby hollow ground teeny little knife from Wii that was like three hundred dollars. That uh, was horrible. I, they, they it's the weirdest pricing, man. Um. This knife did not look worth what they were charging for it, but and then, like I said, you have the the buster, and it looks worth every penny of what they're charging for it. So I don't know what they're doing. One forest one. We're not gonna get on that again, are we? Mom always said girls was a bunch of stanky hoes. You never know what you're getting when you. Never mind. Um, where's a daggum other phone? Cause I want to look up. I know one one knife that was like out oh there's outrageously overpriced in my opinion was that which I guess not because of the uh, it was an integral and it so it was and it was an Isham designs you know because everybody was going gaga over his stuff at the time but that Pleroma. It was like right at three hundred dollars, and it was just a teeny little knife. I want to say it's the Synergy, maybe, but it wasn't just that it was small. It was the yeah, there it is. It, the Ergos were so, and, and it was a, it's another Dagum Integral, but the Ergos were so awkward on it, like it felt so weird in your hand, and it looked, it just looks weird. Like oddly shaped, and this is the trailing point. I think 
pretty sure I had the Tanto version. I think there's a Tanto a drop point and a trailing point, but it was uh, it wasn't worth what they were charging for it, in my opinion. And it seems like they do a lot of that. Whereas now, and I don't know if this is Kaiser trying to uh, make up ground for losing their old like go-to designer or go-to knife man to to concept, but they're they've got their prices are getting really good on some some decent materials. One hundred twenty dollar range for for CB twenty and. Like even they're using a lot of the N690, which is not spectacular, but I like it better than VG10. And so a lot of them, they're marking down to like around the $40 range with my card and N690. So Oh, Mikey's telling jokes, is he? Joke time, Mikey. Ah, screw, screw John and his live stream. Let's just, I'm just going to tell everybody jokes. Try to be the life of the party. I'm tired of everybody picking on me. If maybe if I tell them a few jokes and make them laugh, they'll like me more and they won't pick on me no more. And I'm just picking on y'all. I was being quiet so you could tell your joke, but I don't hear anything and you're not typing. So, I, what's going on, Mikey? What's red and goes up and down? He's trying to make up for Quentin. Dude, oh, God, I said it out loud. We don't say that name. We don't type that name. We don't think that name. So while um, Mikey is failing miserably at joke telling, uh, have you guys, did you guys hear about the, uh, it was a newer uh, mixed drink that came out a few years back called the Lindsay Lohan. Uh, it was basically a red-headed slut with a splash of coke. Dude, no, don't do it. Don't do it, Jason. I, I, Zach man's like terrified. And then, oh, Brother Bear typed it. Well, he misspelled it, so, okay, we're good. Tomato in an elevator, but dumb. Mikey, you know what to do. Go, just go stand in the corner. What? What in the world are you? Dennis, it's a great video. Someone named Dennis sent in a knife to a veteran suffer. It's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet. Tis the sea. <laughs> that wasn't even a dad joke, Mikey. That was like, that was like the kind of jokes you tell before you learn that jokes can be funny. Like back in the day when you're like two, you're just learning how to the basic fundamentals of a joke. Like you ask them a question, they say, I don't know. And then you tell them the answer. Like that's what that joke was for. Train people on that. Dennis Watson suffers PTSD needs and eyes in case you didn't know who Jared is. <laughs> I actually like that one. Alex, what's up, dude? Um, I don't know if if you're going to enjoy this or not because we got this little red-headed freckle face whatchamajigger telling what he claims are dad jokes and are not, but oh my goodness, I'm going to have to like move this because it flipped on me. Dude, it flipped on me big time. That's weird. Oh well. Oh, camera. I warned you. I said I was going to have to move it around. I'm still going to have to move it around because it's not quite right. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. We are back to normal now. Things are juicy again. Uh, what's up, Logan? Good to see you, buddy. Everybody, welcome Logan to the chat. And also, he um, has a new knife review channel, and it is Logan's Daily Carry. So, if you would, please be so kind as to go check him out and subscribe to his channel. I think, actually, we... Uh, a lot of you guys might be subscribed. I think we put it in the description uh, before, but if you're not, definitely go check him out. He is a new up-and-coming superstar in the EDC world. Juicy grass skirt photo. Dude, you, you ain't even going to ask for that. You just say grass skirt and it's done, man, because I'll show this off any day of the week. Boom. He's got the whole shaka going, like double shaka going on. And you just know, you can tell by the look in his face, he's he's saying in a very sexy voice, Mahalo, baby. All right, Alex, appreciate it, buddy. We'll see you when you get back. But yeah, there's the, uh, as we like to call him these days, Big Sexy EDC. Yeah, I don't, dude, I don't know how to make anybody, Zach would know, Zach, how, how do, how do I do the uh, moderating, uh, dang, that was quick, you know your way around YouTube, don't you, Alex, you know all the shortcuts, so anybody that knows the ins and outs of uh, moderator making, fill me in, because not that I need any, I think I can handle this just fine by myself, thank you very much. Click on your name. Okay, I'm going to click on your name. Boom. Now you're over there and it says click on your name. Now what? And now it's gone. There's a little thing that says put you in timeout. I don't want to do that. I don't want to block you. Now there's John Evans. Click on your name over there. No, I don't want to do that for sure because that's what kicked me out last time. There. Okay. You can then make people miss. How do I? What? Make people miss what? Is this like a video game? Yeah, no, I get that. But like I'm kind of using like talking to you guys and, and my phone's occupied. And right this second, like you were going to mute me. Another option to mod. Okay. Click on your name. Press and hold. No. Mm. I don't know. It's not giving me any. Like when I actually click on your name, it's not giving me any option. It just puts you up there and you can be famous for a little bit. But other than that, and then when I click on the three, like the little drop down, oh crap, the drop down menu, it says put user in timeout and block user. And I don't want to do either one of those. But the, um, like, do you use StreamYard? Zach, because I, I can't use um yeah that's what it is it's got to be because I can't use uh, the YouTube streaming quite yet and also this is the free oh you guys are twisted this is uh, the free version so do it in the comments after the video. okay well I'll do that I'll just make everybody that was in here a moderator. Um, it's the the free version, which I'm gonna like get the little the twenty five dollar one eventually. To uh, but basically all it does is get rid of the little duck up there in the corner. I think he's kind of cool. Dude, that's a good idea, Jason. <laughs> 
I just, I don't, I will, I'll put him in timeout and let him think about his wrongdoings of not being able to tell me how to make somebody a moderator. And the fact that the one bench mate I own doesn't have the Z kiss on it. <clears throat> I got screwed on that one so far with a little duck. Yeah. The little stream yard duck right out there. It says powered by stream yard and it's got a little mallard head on the, in the top, right? It'll be, I don't know if it's on like what you can see, but yeah, I like the duck too. Like that's the whole thing. That's pretty much the only benefit I get it, get out of paying them 25 bucks a month is I can get rid of the duck and like other things that I don't really need. Cause you can't even uh, upgrade your, uh, your quality until the next tier above that, which is like 40 something a month. <clears throat> and you can go to 1080p. I guess like it's 720 now or something, but we should we should name the duck. You deserve you, no. You're lucky I even let you in the live stream, Mikey. So don't push your luck. <coughs> we could, you guys could name the duck, but see, then that would be um be very biased because like how would we? pick who has the best name because you guys aren't going to want to vote for each other if you're trying to win something and I can't pick it because then it would be like favoritism or something so um, thanks to whoever subscribed and 1499 dude one away from 1500 and see if I unsubscribe and then resubscribe it won't do you any good but I oh huh, I got you dog I have other YouTube um, sign in names so you'll be at 1500 before the night's over. Panic at the Ducko. There you go. And King is a dumb name, Mikey. Oh, crown me. I'm not playing checkers, dude. We're, it's a live stream. Oh, did you see the... Uh, only if you have a poll on here or do an Instagram poll. I don't think I can do... I don't know. Oh, I can do an Instagram poll. I can't do a poll on here, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I can. I haven't explored all the ins and outs of YouTube. I know I can't use the uh, like the community deal, and I can't actually go live through them. So I guess I'm kind of cheating a little bit, cheating the system. Oh, you hit it? Wait. Heck yeah, dude. Congratulations. 1500 the big one five dude is that wait no you didn't because you didn't start over you just got rid of your content and kept everything the same i was wondering if you would like had to like start over from zero but you didn't that which is good because that would have sucked any cringe duck was saying crummy Obviously, the best. And I, dude, can somebody handle Mikey for me? Because he's just talking nonsense now, and I can't deal at this present moment. But here, let's put this up. Where to go? Let's see. There's that. Boom. There we go. 1500 for Alex. That sounds like I'm playing Jeopardy. I'll take YouTube for 1500 Alex. On this day in history, the Knifebox channel hit 1500 subs. Uh, what is June 29th? Boom. See, I just won Jeopardy. And I'll t <laughs> because okay, your channel was originally called Alex's Knife Box, correct, Alex? Because that's what it was when I subscribed. I'm pretty sure because then I went on there and it was another one of those Rodney things where it threw me for a loop because it was like the Knife Box channel. I was like, dude, somebody's copying Alex's name and they don't have any content, but somehow they've got like over a thousand subscribers. Like, there's some shady shit going on here, and then. 
there was actually like one video, so I watched it, and it was you. So I was, oh well, I don't need to report it to him because it is him. But um, <clears throat> the the Rodney thing was it it was trippy because he used to be Garcore EDC, and then he became Naftastic. Well, I got a notification about Naftastic having a new video, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not subscribed to any channel called Naftastic. It's like somebody's messing with my YouTube account and I went and watched it and I didn't recognize his voice or any of that mess. And so I go back and I'm like, well, let me see what, how many videos he's got. And there's video, like it shows that I've watched some of his videos. I'm and I like literally got like warped to a different dimension. I was like, when in the world did I watch this channel? I don't remember the name. And then like I, the further I went back, there was one port, like one part, like at the beginning where he says, welcome to Garrick or EDC. And then it all made sense. And, I felt dumb again. Dude, I was just thinking that, Jason. Um like today and yesterday. I don't know if if you guys have his uh, contact info hit him up I've, I've got his all i've got is his email address but i'll send him an email and ask him where in the world he's been on um, the last time i talked to him he was playing with the lab or something and then i don't know what happened after that and then also sharp marbles yeah you definitely re reinvented yourself and and rebranded it man like it's a whole different world man like i said it's like you went to film school like it's I don't know. It's crazy. It's polished. And like the, like your intro with the whole, like all the, it's uh, like B roll without B. Uh, it's crazy, dude. It's, it's like the most polished crap I've ever seen in my life, man. And I'm digging it. Wait, what does Zach do? Did Zach hit something too? Do -do. Oh, dude, you're like six away from 9,000. Holy crap. Dude, doesn't that, doesn't that trip you out when you're like just that few away from such a large number and, and you've gained so many subscribers that you feel like it should just automatically like roll like an odometer rolling over. It should just automatically roll over to that 9,000. All right, Logan. Well, um, I appreciate you hanging out with us, man, and uh, definitely be checking out your video, don't you? I think you have a video coming out on the new Domino, the Spyderco Domino you got. So we'll be checking that out, and congratulations on that, Acquire, because that's a killer-ass knife. Oh, dude, speaking of hidden, I need to get on the chat in these because it holds y'all's some of y'all's comments for review and I don't see it on here, but I'll see it. Like if I go like I'm actually in the live chat as a, a viewer, it'll pop up as this, uh, this comment has been held for review, which is dumb. Cause they're like, be like, Hey, how you doing? Why are you holding that for review? I don't see any so far okay maybe it's acting right tonight I just had to see Mikey's comment about panic ranch, panic ranch dunk, duck and crowning a king and Did you just uh did you just divulge a trade secret, Zach, that you're having a, a hidden giveaway? Or is is that common knowledge we just, like everybody just has to find it? Yeah, yes, I I will actually agree with you on that, Mikey. Um, or was that Mikey that even said that? Because that seems very intelligent for 
that to be for Mikey. Especially since you're apparently serenading Zach, which is kind of weird. What, what, what are you singing to him? Oh, yeah, see, that makes sense. <laughs> I agree with you, Tim. It's early, but close enough. Congratulations. Sorry, Mikey. I thought I agreed with you, but I don't. <laughs> I have, yeah, you, you, you just literally said, Mikey, I'm going to read your words that you typed unless somebody has hacked your account and, and they're typing under your name. It says, what song am I singing to Zach stuff? Exactly. Say it loud. Say it Open up that carbon fiber. You got it, Christopher. Um, this one, correct. Dude, did they, oh, I was so tempted. I had to be a good boy today because he was, he did a lottery for a, uh, a blacked out version of this and it looked so stinking sick, but it was $200 that I, I don't, well, I don't have to spend. So, but yeah, the, I don't know if you're, uh, if you're a fan of, of double detent and you, uh, you run across one of these, like definitely this or the EWC, man, either one of them pick them up. But I, I prefer this one. I had the EWC and I, one had to go and it. I chose that one because this one's just so cool. But I mean, it's a cool, like if you're just doing some light uh, work, you're not going to be doing anything heavy where you might end up folding the knife over on your hand, even though, I mean, you got this little, that little area there. So if it folds, it's, I mean, you're not going to get cut, but, uh, it's definitely worth a checking out. Paul, 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 shooty, Paul, shooty. What's up? Holy crap, dude. It's like old, like a homecoming week or something, man. But yeah, that's it's dude, it's killer. Um, it's fun to fidget with, man. It's like one of my favorite fidget knives, like hands down. And I do, I understand what Lefty's saying about the whole Tetris thing because it will, if you don't, if you don't like send it home in exactly the right way, it'll it'll kind of bounce back and it won't it won't uh, secure itself. So then you're like, eh, I gotta start all over and see how many I can get. Yeah, Paul's here. Old Paul Shooty. Or he was. Yeah, he said, well, that's nice. There's something about Janie's got a gun. Oh, God, I had to click on that. Yeah, the edge of perfection himself is up in the house. Dude, if y'all, uh, I guess he's still sharpening knives. If y'all want a knife um, that is so sharp it will literally terrify you send it to paul and and uh yeah no no oh, jack farm boy is though what up jack oh, speaking of old home week holy crap jack's up in here paul is or was i, I hope he's still up in here and uh alex is up in here i mean it's just it's a meeting of the minds. And then somebody inadvertently invited Mikey. There he is. Yeah. Paul is definitely here. Are you, are you still doing um, sharpening Paul? Because it's uh, especially for what you're getting. It is ridiculously cheap. And like I said, it will terrify you. You just about be scared to carry the knife. It's so sharp. I'm actually not, you're not sharpening. Well, dang. Well, the knife community uh, pour one out in his honor because the knife community lost a hell of a sharpener. And I'm glad to see that you are recovering, Jack. Um, 
I hope everything went well with your your procedure and and you're feeling much better. Taking a job in an unrelated field. Well, I mean, if I know anything about Paul, he is a very intelligent man, so I'm I'm sure he is a rock star at whatever he's doing right now. Oh, Jack, don't play with my emotions, man. By getting back into all this in the next few are we talking YouTube as well? Are we talking the, the famous Jack Farm Boy editing and and kick asses acidness snish snish is that what we're saying or are we just talking about posting on Instagram because huh that would be uh, that would be freaking epic right there. Alex and, Alex and Jack on a collab. Dude, dude, Jack, you could do uh, knife YouTube mixtapes. You could be like, I don't know, it'd be like, uh, like Lil Wayne doing his mixtapes. And we don't know for sure because he hasn't answered back. Are you, are you, are you going to be doing YouTube, Jack? I'm getting back in the videos. I, that's that's auto. Auto correct instead of auto tune on his mixtapes. Oh, you're killing me, man. This could potentially be the most epic night that I've had in a long time. And I don't know if, if what I'm saying is lagging so far behind what you. You guys are typing, but I'm I'm about to cry. Why am I not getting uh, confirmed information here? I'm getting uh, so so he is doing. He's he's gonna get back into YouTube. Yeah, no, it's lagging big time, Mikey. I don't even know what you guys are hearing right now, but I can tell it's lagging. Um. <laughs> because one one RIP cliff stamp one and uh, Paul Shooty says looks like the answer is yes to Jack getting back into it all right uh, RIP cliff stamped from Alex got your own Good, all, good to see all you folks. Dude, you got a fan club, Jack. I, you're probably not hearing this as I'm saying it. It'll probably hit you in like five minutes from now. Does it? Oh, it's not laggy? Word. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. So you, so can I get a confirmation from you, Jack, that you are, in fact, going to be doing YouTube again very soon? About a 20 second lag or 20 second D lag. Is that like a lag and, and a delay? Which that's not bad. 20, that's about what it, what it normally is right around 20 seconds. Wait, the dad jokes for me. I see Mikey claims he is the, the king of dad jokes, but I wasn't impressed with, with what he brought to the table. Um, and I, uh, I am sadly very out of shape when it comes to dad jokes, which that's, that's sad, isn't it? Because like the whole point of being a dad is you're out of shape. Now I'm too out of shape to tell dad jokes. Laws. Yes. 
M O O N. That spells moon. Okay, why do nurses? There you go, Tim. Hit him with the hit him with the uh, the nurse joke. Dude, I had I had I had like a little nice little uh, repertoire of dad jokes yesterday, but I've forgotten them all. Um, Okay, well, dude, Jack, before you leave, you have not confirmed. I have not re received your confirmation of that the fact that you are coming back to YouTube. So I, I'm going to need that before I let you leave the uh, live stream. Um, I just got to find the how to lock this place so you can't get out. I like that one actually. Well, I mean, let's see. What did I have? Like, uh, and it doesn't really matter the name, but but why didn't why didn't Timothy show up at the party? Is one he is in hostage mode. He cannot leave until he confirms or denies this rumor of him making YouTube videos again. I'll find out if he's still here. He might have snuck out. Oh, Lord, Paul, that, <laughs> that's actually a good one. Oh, but the answer to um, why didn't Timothy show up at the party? Because uh, he wasn't invited. And, dude, actually, Weirdo actually told me a funny joke. Um, he he typed a comment uh, on, a, on a video and was like, you want to hear a joke? And I was like, I mean, yeah, we're not in the live stream. You're not going to screw anything up. So, yeah, go for it. No, actually, it was it was Superman. It was Clark Kent, Jack Farmboy. Um, but he was like, I can't even remember the daggum joke part of it. It was something about... Uh, Swiss soldiers getting in a knife fight and it was like what what happened when they got in a knife fight? It was like they got in a knife fight, then they got in a tweezer fight, then they got in a scissor fight, then they got in a corkscrew fight. Like but it was actually pretty funny the way it went down. And uh oh, welcome Winchester and take care, Christopher's tanks. And uh you're stuck. Ah, see, you are stuck. All right. Since you're stuck, you got to tell me now. You have to answer now, Jack. Are you or are you not going to be making YouTube videos in the near future? I feel like maybe he's answering me, and like maybe his 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 responses are getting held for review. Do vid okay, all right, you're good to go, man. I appreciate that, and that is that's awesome, dude. Like confirmation that you will be making uh, videos within the next couple of months is this is an epic night. Do you have live comments on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean on what like on the phone that because see i'm shooting on one phone and then i've got my crap phone that that uh the light like the live chat's on like like you guys are seeing and yeah it's it's on live but yeah i got i finally got his answer um but he said he was uh he was behind on the the he was lagging and jason brown's asking us what what they call a uh a white guy with a big penis, but that's way far back. That one got held. <laughs> and what's up, Winchester, man? It's good to see you, buddy. 
And that's, that is, dude, that's a perfect uh, hashtag for the night. Tim, hashtag Jack's back. Zach attack and Jack's back. Michael Jackson. Good Lord, Jason. <laughs> I will I will say I will go ahead and crown the uh the uncontested king of dad jokes is is more than likely Jason Brown because he's got tons of them. Yeah, I do that too, Zach. Um especially like when I'm like in lives, but I had it on here, but I don't know if there's uh I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you're just automatically live as far as StreamYard goes because it's, uh, oh, dang, you can zoom in. Holy cow. But it throws your screen way over there. Yeah, but, I mean, you just you have, like, this default chat as far as StreamYard goes where uh, you don't really have much options. You can hide current comments. You can uh, go to banners and... and like branding and stuff, but other than that, you don't really have a lot of options as far as the chat goes. And you can't even make mo people moderators. All you can do is put them in timeout and block them. That's just so negative. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> there, well, there was another seven. Oh. Um, which it didn't really make sense to me. I mean, it kind of did, but it just didn't flow very well. But there was a, uh, was it, what did seven say to eight? And it was something like nice belt zero or some crap like that. But Oh, you saw, haha, this one right here, Jack. The, the brown chicken brown cow. Big sexy EDC. Shaka. Yeah, the, I, that was uh, that was the best $5 I ever spent in my life. Your non-existent girlfriend. At, what? Mike, you're not like simping on somebody, are you? What's up, Beefer? How are you, buddy? I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is the uh, that picture. I believe won the EDC community. Like, there's I don't know if you could ever top that. Brown chicken, brown cow. Dennis, are you yelling at Mark? <laughs> oh, dude, you're like, there's a bunch of people at work tonight, man. I, I hate it for you guys. But I mean, at least you get to like chill and listen. Um, my, the only time I end up at work is I've been ended up at work on Sundays during Zach's live stream. And I haven't been able to check it out because I'm like all over the place at work and I end up, uh, <laughs> I get frustrated because I'll be going in and out of the, the coolers and my phone will like disconnect from my earpiece and I'll have to run back out there and like reconnect it. And then I'll end up back in the cooler and it'll disconnect again. And then I, it's not a good quality listening of Zach. So I say screw it and end up watching it later. Check, check for held comments. Okay, I will. Which uh, I haven't seen any. I was like kind of keeping an eye on it. And uh, -uh no, I'm, I don't have any right now because they're pretty. Like they really make it apparent that you have one. Let's 
sophisticated. So sophisticated, Mrs. Moneypenny. Oh, and I, um, I did figure out who, I actually figured out who, uh, <clears throat> Quentin is, guys. Do you, uh, you guys ever heard of the old, oh my lord, the old, um, comedian Soupy Sales? That's him. And you guys are about to get seasick again because, there you go. Come on, there you go. Got a flip, but yeah, that it's he is actually Soupy Sales. Turn a little bit there. He said it was above, but not there. Oh, so we're looking for. Yeah, I know, right? It's, dude, he's I, he, he's either Soupy Sales or some kind of possessing spirit. Let's see. Mark Pereira above at Monstration. I would be for Baron. I'm afraid for the calendar. It says, I like that one. That was, that was good. Um, Mikey and his... Dude, even his even his non-existent girlfriend is make believe. Mark Carrera, yo, Mark Carrera. Yeah, it's not. Um, see, I'm wondering because I know sometimes on different one. Like different live streams, my I'll type something and it won't get responded to, so I'll leave and then come back in and it's gone. So I wonder if it's like being held or if it just disappeared. Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing any response as far as the the punchline from Mark Herrera. I just see the what's the worst thing about being an egg. Yeah, and then did you do a mic drop? Because I there's like the the actual joke, and then a riddle or whatever you would call that, and then mic drop. But there's nothing in between there. I mean, there's from other people, but not from you, Mark. Oh, <laughs> you would think Jack was in the uh, the OCD live stream from the other week, but he's going to strop it now. You think he's just being prude? He might be, dude. Well, see, I think what we figured out in this this pat, like the most recent live stream, is that he's uh, Casey's actually being controlled by predators, guys. I don't know if you whether or not you heard him, uh, but if you go back and listen to the audio on his last live stream, you can hear. Um, occasionally you'll hear that little weird chittering noise that the predators do and they are, they're controlling him and operating him like a puppet. So I think that's, I don't think he's as much of a prude as we think he is. I think that's just how they're portraying him. For the movie hand jump cabin, sensing spirit. Don't don't strop me now. I'm having a good time. I'm having a ball. Oh Lord. I'm uh I'm a little 
There's some trepidation involved here, Todd, because I'm not sure if I want to hear this joke. <laughs> Dude. <clears throat> Trevor pulled a, a textbook ambush on Casey, and I think he's just butthurt because he was bested. And uh, Mikey, you can't know. Sorry, buddy. Mm, unacceptable. What's grosser than Joe's? Gross Joe. Yeah, um, but and he's also he's upset and a little bit jealous because he has no groupie jokes from his days at the uh, as a weatherman or as a sportscaster or whatever he pretended to be for a little while. Um, but Trevor gets all the Chick Fil A groupies. And, you know, I mean, you guys have Chick-fil-A. There's some hotties working at Chick-fil-A, right? He said in the most serious voice, the white horse fell in the mud and walked away thinking he was king shit. He might have actually, that might have actually been his name. He might have been king shit. Yeah, but well, I mean, oh my lord, dude. Oh, that's okay. We're good. Never mind. False alarm, guys. I thought it was the spirit of Quentin's past. But yeah, dude, like, and then speaking of remember, Winchester, do you remember when Trevor, like, very single handedly took over Casey's live stream and, and rocked it with his knife collection? I mean, nobody was paying attention. The only reason we were paying attention to uh, KC is because Trevor had him be in his Vanna White and was like, here, show him this knife, Dad. Tell him all about it. All right, Jack, take it easy, buddy. And, uh, dude, I'm so stoked that you are coming back. And definitely come hang out with us anytime you feel like it, man, because you, you have a... Uh, Open invitation, just like everybody else in here does. Lots of dude. There's a two. Yeah, there's some babes at Chick Fil A. I mean, that's it, hello Chick Fil A. I mean, it's built right into the name. You know, there's going to be babes there. And of course, Casey was bummed because. Basically, Trevor's uh, Ozark Trail knives were putting Casey's Finch knives in their shadow, and just because, but it was more of a, a a charisma type thing. Like Trevor's got that whole uh, cult leader charisma, and Casey's more of a cult member. He also has hair. <laughs> that. That might be Casey's biggest resentment against him. Is I, I I brought you into this world and you've got hair and I don't. Let's see about that. Oh hell yeah, Alex! Congrats on the fifteen hundred man, and I appreciate you you hanging with us. It's always a good time. It's always a pleasure, man, and you're always welcome. So, anybody else want to talk trash about KC? Because, I mean, is there really anything more amusing? Oh, we could take a look at the, uh, the world's worst knife. And literally the only reason I bought this on the secondary was because it was brass and I needed a brass knife and everything else that was on... Uh, online at the time was muy expensive and now thanks to a certain winchester ink we're not worthy i have bug out scales that are oh and check it out dude i don't know if you can uh you can tell i've been doing a little doing a little piggy bank work here sorry about the noise oh you so cool. Yeah, I hope this is not right in y'all's ears. I'm sure it is because that's loud over here. Um, 
but yeah, I'm doing a little of my, uh, if you can focus, there we go, of my own stone washing. I have found, I like the look of coins. So I'm going to finish stone washing the crap out of these scales and slap them on that bug out and they're going to be pimp. And I can throw this which I swear I'm just going to throw it in the trash because it's such a horrible piece of junk, this stupid Boker Lancer that... That, uh... It's, I mean, it's, it's dumb. The be dude, the best part about it is, uh... <laughs> the phosphor bronze washers, I made it work, and they're even crap. But, uh, yeah, the dude, the freaking lock bar is... Which is better now, but it used to sound like one of those little dog clickers that you train dogs with. When you would disengage it, it'd be like click, like loud as crap. And maybe it's like breaking in, but it's it's like way off centered. It's just it's horrible. So, well, I mean, you might <laughs> you might end up with it, Tim. It might just like show up in your mailbox with a like a like a little orphaned baby. Put it in a basket and mail it to you. I just don't. I mean, it's. I don't know. It is. It's not. It's weird. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Are we? St are we talking about Chick Fil A here? I saw something about chicken sandwich. Chicken breakfast burrito. Oh, I don't. Is that a Chick Fil A thing? Because the only thing I've ever ever get at Chick Fil A for breakfast is the chicken biscuit, and the only thing I ever get for lunch is like their original sandwich. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to them. I like what I like. <laughs> you would be getting fine. <laughs> you would find be fine getting some some uh, knife orphans. Well, you you may very well just be doing that in the near future. As soon as I get these um, bug out scales coin washed to my liking, and then they're very close. It's loud as crap, so I do it. I use it to bug Marley. <laughs> She'll come up and be like, hey, daddy, and I'll just start shaking them because I've got them in a, a, a Milo sweet tea bottle. <laughs> and I'll just start shaking the crap out of it. And she's like, daddy. Power to has a jar attached to the screwdriver attachment. Oh, dude, that's that dude. That's so smart. That would save you a lot of arm fatigue, man. Because I'm having to, like, I don't want to end up like that guy in, uh, what's that M. Night Shyamalan movie, like Lady in the Water or whatever, where he's got the one huge arm. I don't want to end up like that, so I keep having to switch arms every once in a while. Let's see. You know what? There we go. Talk about knife or orphans. Make make Tim famous for the the knife orphans. So, uh, are you guys are you, you guys are cool with this uh this giveaway, um, fodder? On it, I was kind of being not not necessarily selfish, but like I've always kicked myself in the butt for getting rid of the bag lighter because it was such a killer knife, and now they've got like the little new and improved version. I was like, dude, I've, it's a, it's a kick-ass knife. You can't beat it. It's like one of those just like standards. <clears throat> so it joined the giver giveaway. Oh, oh. It's bad, huh? Dude, um, Speaking of Pilar modifications, I did a really crappy job on this one I have, but I don't know. They just look so much better when you slap a little grunge on them, a little bit of dirty micarta and some 
acid washing, like a, it just looks like a totally different knife. And then putting the, uh, there's a guy, I think they're like $6 a set for the phosphor bronze washers to replace the little Teflon jobbies. And I mean, it makes the action like a hundred times better. Oh, did the, uh, the lock side and then bronze the, the clip. I think this is not the original pivot. I don't know where it, what it came out of, but it doesn't belong in this knife and it doesn't quite fit well. I need to get on CRKT's site and order one. <clears throat> well, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And yeah, dude, I agree. I, I, I dig the big lighter, man. It's just, uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's like, it's really, really, really nice functioning knife. It feels good in hand and. It's not, uh, I mean, it can go either way as far as like a classy carry or, you know, uh, work carry. So, and that, dude, that, they have, it's like in a whole nother league from the original one with that action. Definitely weren't, weren't doing that with the original one. It was almost a two-handed closer. Dude, and you're, Joe, that's a good point with this guy. Too. It's. I mean, that for their new micarta that Kaiser is is using, man. Like it's got character. Like it's got like this. I mean, you saw it come straight out of the box, and it's already got little dark spots, and it's like those uh <laughs> like acid wash jeans or something. They've got a little a process where they pre uh, patina their micarta now. But no, it's dude. Like it's a. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like this is it's. Obviously, linen micarta because the the like the grain structure is like teeny, but it it I don't know it's got texturing. It feels crazy. It's, it's nice. I dig it. A custom buck one ten. Yeah, that's I don't know if it's an exclusive. Um, Winchester. I'll I'll check real quick. But um, like this custom buck one ten. What, what are we talking about? What's uh that sounds very intriguing because I've, I've seen some like really cool buck 110s with like with file work on the spine and, and on the back spring and stuff I can do some pretty killer stuff with it Mojave Outdoors I think on the on box it just it didn't say anything about being a exclusive it was you know it just says n690 black blade green micarta steel liner designer azo which he was a half designer on the um the land i guess he uh kind of showed ray Yi the the ropes Said you don't you you may know about flashlights, my friend, but you don't know about knives. No, it uh, um it doesn't look like it is, which I think they have. Uh, they have a search option so. But I don't think it, I mean, maybe it is because it's, it's different. Oh, and I, I'm on a, no, it's not the, um, well, the one they have on here, it has a, uh, looks like a satin finished blade. The, uh, yeah, or stone washed something. Yeah, no, I can't tell their picture's horrible. You know, yeah, it's a satin finish. It's got a satin finish blade. And, uh, carbon fiber, actually. So, this is the Big Lighter Mojave Exclusive $59. And it is out of stock. It says it's coming soon, so I guess, I don't know. According to them, it hadn't dropped yet.
building a nickel oh here we go nickel silver bolsters buckeye broad handles s30 good lord that's going to be a killer uh, 110 what uh kind of belt we building it is joe that stinking acid wash jeans um all you got to do is throw them in the washing machine with some gravel and you're good to go what, what kind of built you build built you build belt you build as i bought my first i guess uh quality belt Ooh, a little over a year ago before i knew who joe was I ended up getting one from um, Jason Davis that uh, from Blunt Force Blades, Linwood, like that. And it, I mean, I'm 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 happy with it, man. Uh, which I feel like I'm probably going to start uh, rubbing it on cinder blocks and stuff to wear it out, so I can get one from Joe. But. custom belt for a tree trimmer oh wow like to where you can hook in and and uses spikes and stuff that's that sounds badass oh and speaking of heavy duty you know like I was talking to you about the dude that was using like the horse hide and stuff. And I said, it was like super thick. Well, like the leather you used on this, on, on both of these, like, like the, especially the veg tan on the, on the ballet tray it's thicker than the horse hide that he used, but it's more pliant. Like his stuff is like stiff. Like, I, I don't know if, if it's a, a him thing or what, but, or if it's a horse hide thing, but yeah, like it's, it's super thick and not as thick as yours. But it's nowhere near as like flexible and stuff. So there, there's that. That that was baffling me. Man, oh, here I'll show you. I've I still have a an actual sheath that he made that. Like and see, this is like. All right, you can see like it, I mean it's not even really that thick. But. I mean, it's like hard. It squeaks. This is a couple years old. Like, there's no flex to it. What fence are you looking at getting there, Jason B? Somebody said something. I want the, uh, dude, I want some of those new ones, that devil's finger. That thing looks pretty killer. And then there was another with a cherry bomb. That one looks badass. And I I think I kind of want a Cimarron, but I haven't had one in hand, so I don't know yet. Need some moisturizer on that sheath. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Um, but she's like another. Uh, that's another thing. He didn't send anything like that with it, um, like Joe did. But so I didn't. I just thought it was like okay, throw the knife in there and carry it, and it's gonna break in like every other knife sheath does. But no. Well, that was, uh, that was quite EDC community of you there, Jason. That's, uh, that's one of those instances where you're like, yep, that's, that's why I hang out with these guys. Cause they're badass. A guy that loves knives, collects knives, like that's his hobby. And he's going to, uh, put off getting a knife for himself so he can help somebody else in need.
is what it's all about. And yeah, those are, those are my favorite, which like I, I've said before, that Dagom Tycuna was just, I don't know. There was something really cool about it. It was like their, to me, it was like their, uh, their overbuilt knife. Like it's, I don't know. There was just something thick and, 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 uh, like super well built about it, but it, the action on it was crazy. No, it was kind of, a, I guess it was like kind of an anomaly. Belt with custom suspenders. To oh, heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That, uh, that right there, like a good belt with, and a good set of suspenders will save your ass. If you're like doing any kind of work where you're carrying a lot of stuff like that. Cause I mean, I've, done carp like done carpentry work in the past and ended up just throwing the belt on with no suspenders and dude, my back will be killing me at the end of the day and even with the suspenders that came with it it'd still be killing me so i know some good ones will save your back in a heartbeat yeah dude, it is it's that uh it's like a what like a Central American or South American machete. It's it's like a uh, it's like a Barbie machete. Oh, dude, I'm an idiot. I'm sitting here asking Joe questions like, oh, so tell me about this, and he's over there trying to build a daggone belt. You moron. Yeah, dude, I think you, I think you'll dig it. The Tycoon, Tim, like it's, I don't know. It's just, there's something really cool about it. And I'm not usually a fan of that kind of milling on the, the handle scales. Cause it kind of reminds me of that, that weird, uh, like the doo-doo Kershaw or that weird, um, orange access lock Ganzo that was out for a while with that, the same type milling but on this one it just kind of works and it's i don't know it's quality the g10 is like a, a lot higher quality and which i don't think the kershaw was even g10 i feel like it was like frn like doo-doo plastic and the only one of those that i haven't checked out of is the well the Cimarron and then the the 1929 but the holiday i mean it's not like it doesn't thwack with authority but it's really like it's just nimble it's like really it's it's quick dude um it's you can't really compare it to any other other knives that i can think of Put your ad up, Tim. Let everybody know. And I I like the look look at that uh that 1929 because it's got kind of the same. It's got that the whole Barlow look to it, and then the blade's got that little little chubby belly on it. Yeah, no problem, Tim, dude. I, I mean, I, I don't know if it'll help any, but I'll throw it up there just in case somebody wasn't paying attention. And they happen to look up and they're like, oh, I do have a Tycoon and we can work out something to trade, Tim. And I do. There was there used to be this this lady. I can look and, and see if I still have her. Her information, but she was selling because I got my um Tycoon from her. She was on. Um, Reddit knife swap. And I think, well, no, it might've just been nice swap, but she had like a website, it was like gray man, something, but she was selling all the, uh, they were all brand new Finch, but for some reason they were like right around $10 below retail shipped, which isn't a huge amount, but I mean, a dollar is a dollar. So if you, you pay 140 instead of 150 to me, that's a, a, a good deal. 
but she and she would like have the ones in stock that you couldn't really find like the in the when i got my tycuna from her they, you couldn't find them anywhere and just all of a sudden she had like 15 of the uh the blacked out version the 29 blades a little beefier than the dock and the drop is yeah dude it does look a little bit heavier have i handled a launch 11 no mark but that is definitely like just the only launch i have handled is i think it was a launch six and it was the oddest thing this guy at work who wasn't necessarily a knife guy but he knew i was he like came up to me one day and he was like hey man i i got a new knife and i just want to run it by you see if it's a good knife and it was a it was a kershaw launch i think it was the launch six it was either the six or the seven and that's the only one that um, I have handled. But the Launch 11 is like hands down my uh, my favorite, just like aesthetics wise. No, it wasn't the six. It must have been the seven. It was the uh, harpoony looking blade. Oh, look, Tim Galleon. Yep, that was it. It was the Launch 7, um, which I wasn't a big fan of at all. But um, I don't know. From what I understand, it's like on the small side, but it's like it handles bigger than it actually looks, which I, I dig that. I like knives that, that are small-ish, but like you end up getting a way more comfortable grip than you would expect from it. <clears throat> and that's what I'm gathering from that. What do you, what's your take on it, Mark? Holy crap, dude! I did, oh, I didn't even realize that uh, Finch had switched to N six ninety on that on the Runtley. I thought they were still one fifty four cm. Is the one I had the? Uh, it was the. It looked blue to me, but they called it gray something, and it was one fifty four cm. And that was probably my least favorite as far as action goes. It could tend to be a little bit sluggish, and it would fail at times. But it could have just been the one I had. Well, guys, I uh, polished off that bottle of peanut butter whiskey, so daggum. Can't believe that. You guys are a bad influence. There's a solid, perfect size. Yeah, dude, like, um, that's what it, it just seems like it's going to be like really the like, uh, uh, automatic of that size is going to be real snappy because the only automatic I have right now, and I don't know where it is at this present moment is a, um, a Protec TR3. And I mean, it, it thwacks with some authority, but it's not very, not very nimble. It just kind of sluggishly slings out. And I think that a uh, launch 11 would be really snappy. No, I didn't say I was going anywhere. I just said I finished off that bottle of peanut butter whiskey and it was like it, I just opened it at the beginning of the live stream. So what two and a half hours and it's gone. And regardless, I was messing with you. I mean, there's, I barely drank any of it. Sips here and there that dude, I, honestly, this stuff is mostly for the flavor, man. It's got like, it reminds me of this vape juice I used to get from a local shop and it was their peanut butter, which it was really 
theirs was peanut butter and chocolate, supposedly, according to them, but it tastes just like this daggum whiskey. Skull Ashnikov and Boker, which I'm selling, by the way. Oh, wink, wink, uh, guys. Winchester, <laughs> wink, wink, Winchester, Inc. He's selling a, a, a an auto, Skull Ashnikov, if you picking up what I'm putting down, smelling what I'm cooking, smelling what I'm stepping in, tasting what I'm throwing on the plate. No, I was, I was just messing with you guys, just like trying to make you think I drank a whole bottle of whiskey and you, you guys were going to feel horrible, oh, horrible influences. We caused him to, he's in the gutter now because of us. No, I wouldn't do that. And, if I did, I would at least take you on a, a MTV Cribs tour like Lefty does, which that's not really his. It's not not voluntary. It's his wife. She's behind him the whole time, chasing him from room to room. Get out of this room. No, go to another room. No, not this one. Go to another room. You're being too loud and drunk and you're eating dog treats. Uh oh, dude! Oop. We're uh, we're wheeling and dealing up in here. I see, I see uh, deals being made, man. Eighty dollars, I'll get you what you need. Oh, that's what you're selling for eighty bucks at the launch eleven. Dang, because those are like all oh, most of the launches go for what, like one ten, brand new. And I don't feel like you'd be selling something that's in horrible shape. So I feel like you're selling pretty much a brand new knife for 80 bucks. That's a killer deal. If I'm, because I'm just agreeing with Tim and he said launch 11 for 80 bucks. So if he's wrong and I'm wrong, it's his fault. Yeah, me too, Jason. For like, it's it's just a good looking. I don't know. It's just a really good looking knife. Like that little void in the handle and the the handle shape and the blade. Like it all just it fits together so nicely. Launch. I'm gonna have to look at it now. Oh, you saw it for eighty bucks. Okay, so that's even better. You get to keep yours, and somebody could. Potentially get one for eighty, but where uh, where was this at? Yeah, there she is. She's good looking little. I mean, it's just really line, nice, clean lines. It, it could be a a Lundquist or Laconico automatic. Two and three quarter inch blade. What is that? I mean, like I said, I've never had one in hand, so I know about what is comfortable depending on the ergos and where the cutouts and stuff are, what's comfortable for my hand as far as handle length. And it is 3.8 inches. And yeah, that would anything three and three quarters and below is too small for me. So that one would, I mean, it'd be right on the edge there, but it would, it would work. So with it being, uh, 1204 here, what do you guys, what do you guys have planned for tomorrow? Anything exciting? I feel like most of you probably have to work. I'm actually off because we're doing summer camps, so there's some odd kids that come to these summer camps, man. I'm going to tell you what, you run into some interesting characters. Work, Jeff. Worm's got work. Doing any driving tomorrow, Worm? Yep, Z-Man's work. And, and rock. So he's going to rock out at work. Which uh, I don't know. Maybe it's Brian, but I, I 
I'm interested in what people do for, for work. We know what, what uh, Jason B does. He a little bit of everything. And I know, I know at one point, Worm had to drive a really long way to fix a door. Oh, you're going to be at the shop tomorrow. That's cool. That's always a good thing. What, speaking of, what? so what are you doing now, Paul? And Jared's going to be, he's going to be performing his supervisorly duties of nothing. Delegating. Working at a, oh, nice, dude. Heck yeah, man. That's what's up. Doing some CNC work. Some custom. Uh... So you, are you doing CNC? Like, are you like, are you milling wood and, and metal, like metal fab or? Pat, what's up, buddy? I appreciate you stopping in and, and telling us, hey, and, and bye. It's good to see you. And congrats on your, uh, your 1000 on Instagram. And, and your kick-ass giveaway, and also um, the awesome. Well, like now I saw the one video. Of, well, I saw one video. Where there was like wildlife on your way into work, and then the or, or a picture of wildlife on your way into work, and then the video of a helicopter like buzzing a field. I don't know. I'm not sure quite where you work. I thought I had a grasp on it, but now I'm wondering, and I feel like there's some some kind of a like guerrilla warfare type thing going on with, with where you're at. But, and if so, drive all day. Oh, so you're like, uh, are you like in like home healthcare? Like you take care of people at their own homes, doctoring? The white, jo dang, Joe, you're just like artsy, like just, Man, you're doing it to it, dude. Photography business, leatherworking business, like you're that's that's the American dream right there, man. Home health right on the border. On the the border of what? We talking like the border of another country? Which would be either Canada or Mexico, and I'm guessing Mexico. But But yeah, dude, that's killer, man. Photography up might be hitting you up on <laughs> some tips and pointers on that that front too joe and mark herrera drive oh dude drives a cement mixer that is awesome heck yeah i remember i thought my dad was the when he told me because at at the time he he only he drove 18 wheeler for the post office but he said he used to drive a uh, a cement truck and I'm like, I'm thinking like, dude, he's my hero. He drove one of the big, you know, mixing trucks. And no, he hauled raw cement like in a 18 wheeler. So, uh-uh, no. Ego's in here. Oh, hey, and on, on top of that, Winchester, guess who gets all the, uh, who gets hit on by the bridesmaids? That's right. Joe himself. He's like, is a live action wedding crasher. And what's up, Ego? You missed almost three hours of live stream, but it's good to have you when you finally decided to wander on in. You must have got lost in the uh, back hallway again on your golf cart, right? Maintenance tech for low income housing and Head Start school site. That's cool right there, man, because, um, one of my really good friends, Justin, he's actually, he does kind of the same thing for uh, the Boys and Girls Club in the area. So that's, uh, and which Marley used to get to go there because of, you know, knowing people that knew people and this and that. So I thought that's really cool. Hello, Mrs. Ego. No, not Jen. Jen, are you back? Why are you, why are you throwing knives at us? And why do you come like, like right as I'm about to uh, sign off, because it's sit. Oh, dude, 
so you brought up another good point, Jen. There's like multiple JBs because that's Jason Brown. So he's not, you know, like JB, JB. We'll show you. This is JB, JB. He's he's the one that, that sports the – see, it's a JB. He's the one that sports the Hawaiian shirt and the grass skirt and the, the come-hither look in his eyes. I was just messing with that. That was cool. I was just picking with the whole knife throwing thing. Dude, I'm telling you, man, Winchester would like, I'm, which I've already talked to him. He's, he is coming on uh, alive at some point and I'm going to interview him and we're going to find out all the dirty details of his, his sordid rock star life that he lives. Oh, is that, dude, were you, this is, um, Zach, this is my friend from, from high school that I grew up with. Uh, well, you know her name, but she popped in last night and I'm trying to convince her to be a regular and take care, Pat, have a kick-ass night. Well, yeah, the, that's what I, ego dude, like. Mikey left like 30 minutes ago and I thought we were done with all that. But so now it's yes, we know that she is a J. That's what I was saying. There's multiple JBs, but there's only one real JB. Just like there's only one ego. Thank God, because we couldn't handle multiples of those. Luckily, you have Katie to keep you straight. And Dennis Watson's back. What's up, Dennis? This could very well turn into the uh, the stream that never ends. Kind of like after a night of hard drinking, your first pee in the morning. <clears throat> and you feel like you're more than likely going to end up passing back out before you're done peeing. I mean, you can be like Jen B. You can be Jay Brooke. You can be the Brookster. You could be like... Uh, I don't know how 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 do you say Jen Brook in that that weird gibberish that you got you girls used to talk in? Yeah, Jen, this is like the best group of people you'll ever meet. You'll you literally you'll never meet a, a just genuinely nice, positive group of people like this anywhere. Okay, so what are is that? You, are you choosing the Brookster? We're gonna call you the Brookster from now on. Yo, Brookster, Brookenheimer. Yeah, there you go. That weird crap. Just a gay. What the? Yeah, see, I, I can't even like read it. No, I know that's the language. I couldn't understand it then. I can't even like understand it reading it. Like it. I just sit there and be like, y'all are so full of crap. Y'all have no clue what each other is saying. You're just making stuff up and then nodding and agreeing. And oh no, she can't know. I'm 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 gonna go ahead and warn you, patina pants. She don't. Yeah, no, well, I think you're kind of touching on that subject too. Don't call her Jenny because the claws come out. That sweet little Jen that you see right here. Is no longer, and you will pray to God that you get her back. <laughs> oh, dude, you did you did give out her phone number? Which she's had her number changed like several times since then because she could not get rid of Rick Sp Springfield. He was stalking her big time, and she said, "Rick, I don't want your money." You're a goober, and I don't like you, and you need to leave me alone. Oh, dang, we are, dude, we're still wheeling and dealing. Look at here. Monsters. 
working on getting him a Tycoon. It was, I bet it was because Rick Springfield's a pretty energetic dude. I saw him in concert. Do you remember, um, <laughs> Jen, like this is legit. You remember, uh, music Midtown that used to come every year. He played one year on the, uh, what was the, the, the cl classic rock station? Uh, Fox 97. Yeah. He played on the Fox 97 stage and, um, Marvelous, it was in 99, Marvelous 3 was playing on the 99X stage, and he started, play, like, he was playing at the same time as them, and so they, like, made everybody get quiet, and he started playing, no, that no, that's not Rick, he doesn't, no, that, he's, he's the Jesse's girl dude. Anyway, what they did play, Rick Springfield was playing when they were playing, and they started, like, like echoing him, everything he played, they would play, and it was funny, but... All right, Shooty. It was good to see you, man. And we have been gra graced with another member of the fair sex, Mrs. Katie, a.k.a. Ego, the wonderful, and the other guys, Ego, the bald. <clears throat> so make the ladies feel at home and welcome and and stop all that crude talk that y'all were doing earlier. Oh yeah, we'll check definitely check your video out, Zach, because I, I I understand there's some some goodness in it, some some giveaway goodness. So you know people will be checking that out, wanting to just get some free stuff. But I appreciate you hanging with us, buddy, and uh, we'll see you soon in another live stream. Well, I know you came for the crew talk. Like that's what you, that's what you paid good money for your ticket for is you like specifically one of the crew talk, but, and, uh, you're not going to get it here because we are gentlemen and scholars. Except for ego. Cause he's just that guy. And I'm waiting for him to like put a cry cry face up there about me picking on him. But I think he's toughened up. I think I've given him a little bit thicker skin. And that was my see, that was my intention, Ego. I, I knew you had potential. Oh, heck yeah. Do something kind for somebody and guess what? Everybody Oh, Ego, Jack's back. Did you, uh, you weren't here for it, but Jack is back. Too tired to care. Did you Get up off your lazy butt, dude. What are you working a warehouse? Um, but seriously, Jack's back, Ego. He said videos by the end of summer. <laughs> well, dang, because Worm, you don't. I mean, you don't strike me as a, a very crass person, but you're you're very uh, educated when it comes to the ways of the world. So. That's that's a pretty good matchup for you right there, buddy. I think she kind of uh, keeps you on your toes. And 130 degree truck. What? So what did they like the steering radius of these trucks is 130 degrees? And you or are you? Oh, I see what's going on. You're whining about how hot it is and how how heavy the stuff is you carry. <laughs> we may we may be tricky when we shit with the door open. No, I don't, guys. Don't don't lump me in with you. I mean, I don't make beef jerky. Come on, dude. All right, Dennis. Take care, man. You have a good night, and we will. What is this? Well, it's Wednesday morning now. I don't know if you're if you're going to be in Neves. We'll see you there, and uh, if not, we will catch you at least on on Jody's live stream and Zach's live stream. Well, sure, Katie. I mean, Ego's too tired to give a shit, so somebody's got to give a shit. He's all he's worried about is how hot it is and how heavy the shit is he's carrying, but. He doesn't think about the people at home, like, you know, keeping the homestead together while he's out there.
playing with boxes. And driving around his mansion on his golf cart, getting lost, being late to the live streams. Oh, I didn't even mean to make you famous, Jen. You're famous, though. And exhausting. Right. Tell him, Mark. Dude. Dude Mark. Mark drives a freaking cement mixing truck, man. So, I mean, you ain't telling him nothing he don't know about being hot and heavy. You have a fever and you love your wife. Well, I hope you're not saying you love your wife because you have a fever because that's just wrong, dude. But I'm, I hate that you have a fever. And I hope it's not the COVID because if so, you're going to have to leave the live stream because um, quarantine and all. Well, yes. Uh, sh yes, she does. In fact, wear the pants. Tim. Um, who is that? Is that Cooper in the picture with you? He digs up. Oh, dude, you, you can't get a fever from heat exhaustion. You're just, you're just overheated a little bit. You're feeling very verklempt, that's all. Is it? Oh, 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 it is. I couldn't see her hair. That's like her, her trademark. So I just saw it, it looked like a kid's face because <laughs> she did without that hair. She would look like a kid. What do you mean? You smile. You smile all the time. Dingbat. You smile on occasion. Dude, eggs is depleted of cowbell. He has no cowbell. He just needs at least some cowbell, not even more cowbell. He needs a little bit, just a tiny bit of cowbell. All right, Brother Bear, it was good to see you, buddy, and we will, I'll catch up with you on Instagram tomorrow, I'm sure. No, you saw Does she still live in, like, is she still in Ken the Kennesaw area, or is she, like, world famous somewhere? With her kinky hair. The boss. <laughs> Katie is the house of eggs. What are you talking about, boss? She's near the zoo, kind of. Oh, there's a poo on that. It's like, Kennesaw and Marietta is bad enough. Like, I wouldn't want to live. Anywhere closer to that chaos. Mm -mm, no. Dude, like, we. The last time I went to visit my parents, we went to Dagom Cummings, and it was. I thought we were in Atlanta. It was horrible. I'd screw that. Y'all suck. Yeah, she just spoke, Tim. She, um, I think, unless she, like, spoke and dipped out. Which she might have, but and I wouldn't blame her because she's got to put up with that that sorry eggs and ham guy. All right, John Evans, take care, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow at Neves. Oh, I'm. The eggs with the great hair, not as. <laughs> Katie said, "I have sweet hair." <laughs> it can be with the right um, coaxing; otherwise, it's just a tangled mess. Especially if it's windy out, then I'm screwed. All right, Jason Brown, have a good day at work tomorrow, man. And I think I'm gonna. People are are, are fading fast, and I don't want to keep anybody else up past their bedtime, and it's going on three hours so um 
I think I'm going to sign off as well. And uh, thank you for joining us, Jen. And hopefully you can. Okay, we're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's uh, Tuesdays at 9:30 are definite. That's it's going down. We're having a a live on Tuesday at 9:30, and then just any other time we can, we will, and I'll let you know. But if if you're not here um, on Tuesdays, you're going to lose your seat. So. Everybody, let's bounce. Yeah, let's everybody bounce. And thank you guys for a kick ass uh, time. I enjoyed hanging out with you. I love you all. You were awesome, awesome people. Even Jen says so, and she's hard to please. So um, you got to be doing something right. But I'll see all you guys tomorrow in some form or fashion. If uh, it's not till tomorrow night on Neves, but everybody take care. Love you. Um, get out there and EDC your ass off. And thank you, Joe. Thank you, Z Man. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Wolvie. Dang, did you just pop in, Wolvie? Uh, Worm, Winchester, Timbo, Beefer Baron, Jared, Mrs. Ego, Ego the Man. We'll let you go ahead and be the man, Ego. We love you, dude. Uh, brother, brother Bears already left. Mark Carrera. And if I'm missing anybody, I am deeply sorry. Dennis, which he's, he's gone too. But you guys, I love y'all, and you have a great night. And uh, after you get through EDC in your ass, I'll do something nice for somebody. Y'all take care. Peace out.